Well, this is the fun thing about tenor is, for me, it's harder to talk about than it is to just watch it and understand it. To feel. To feel. Hi, I'm Christopher Nolan here uh, discussing the upcoming re-release of Tenet. I'm going to try to break down some of the mechanics in the film Tenet. Tenet's not a film about time travel in the conventional sense. It's a film about the direction of time, and that's defined by a thing called entropy. All laws of physics are symmetrical. They're all identical, whichever direction time is running in, other than entropy. And there's debate in the world of physics as to whether that defines the direction of time or whether it just shows the direction of time, you know, whether it's a cause of it or whether it's a product. Tenet takes on this idea as entropy is the cause. What's happening in Tenet is rather than just moving backwards and forwards in time, machines have been developed that can change the direction of time for an object or a person. So you're mixing the two directions of time within the same scene, within the same frame. You don't have to view cause and effect as defined by one coming before the other. There's nothing in the laws of physics that suggests you couldn't look at time in a, in a different direction. So the scene where the protagonist holds his hand over the inverted bullet and it jumps up to his hand, you made it happen. Whether or not you drop the bullet, whether or not the bullet flies up to your hand, it has to be your hand, it has to be your will that's making it happen. If the popcorn kernel itself was running in a different direction of time, it can come up into the hand in the film, we, we posit that's because its entropy is being reversed. So for that reason, a lot of Tenet is constructed, like the title, as a palindrome. So it reads the same forwards and backwards.